Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know this is a out of sequence video, but I thought I'd throw my hat into the conversation on this because GW put on their community page that on the 4th of February they are going to be up in their prices of the start collecting box and the paints. Well, First off, they're a business at the end of the day, they can do what they want. But still, if they update prices on the start collected boxes, I'm going to start there. There's still fantastic deals to be out of those boxes because I've just recently picked up the Demons of Corn and you'd get him more than £50 for the. For the, say, the blood letters and the crushers, and then you're having like the blood throne for like half price. That's a fantastic deal. Yes, I know they're gonna up it, so it'll probably be between 55 and say 60 pounds, I would guess. But you know, it's still a fantastic deal to be had with those sets, so I'm not too bothered about that. My real problem comes in the next part of the article, which is about the paint. And I know GW have said that they're only going up by 20 pence for UK. Other countries vary, but it's still going to be within like their wheelhouse. So it's going to be like 25 cents, I believe, in America. Um. Part your remortgage when you come to Australian prices, but this is where I have the well, I don't know, I disagree with what they've done. It's they've said now the sets of paints are going to stay the same price, so if they can keep the sets the same price, why can't they do this with the paints? The, the paints at the moment they range in from UK prices, I'm really sorry for people that listen in other parts of the world, are around about the £2.55 mark, going up to the £3.35, I believe. That's the metallics. So, when you compare it to other brands, they're still like one of the bigger prices on paints. For the hobby, like I've just recently started going into Vallejo. I'm thinking of putting an order in with the uh, war colors as well, and they all seem to be under the price of GW at the moment. So they're still in the just the, over the wheelhouse of all the other competitors. So they could probably have done with not putting the prices up this year perhaps when the pet competitors uh put it up do it like the year after but at the end of the day i'm looking at it as i'm spending my money i'm not looking at it as i've got to make a profit that's gw side of it that's how they got to look at it but it's just well i just wanted to put my you know my opinion out there i think at the moment, the pricing could have just been left alone. Yeah, I can understand with the start collecting set that they got to put that up because possibly they introduced them at a slight loss. So if they're going to put it up a little bit and still it's going to be good value because they've said it's going to be between 20% to 40% um, savings. We're still the ones benefiting on that one, but if we've got to spend more money on paint, and I know 20 pence or 25 cents is hardly anything, but if you go out and you've got to buy four or five, you know, paints, your medium, 
your brushes and you know that's all going to add up that's going to then take away from the price of stuff you was well from you spend them on your models so i think they need to work out a balance i don't think putting the paints up is a good thing to do at the moment but then again i could be wrong i'm looking at it as the consumer side i'm not looking at it as you know the big business side so let me know what you think down below um do you agree with the pricing on the paints do you not agree with the pricing on the paints do you think if they're going to do it go up they're going to they should change it because i know a lot of people are complaining that they should be going to drop the bottles but i can't see them going down that road now that they've just released all the paint stacks so i don't know tell me your thoughts down below i just want to hear what everyone else is saying about it so that's it that's my quick little i know rant opinion i don't know what you want to call it but that's just yeah it's just my opinion and that's it i'm afraid everybody it's the end of the video tell me what you think about it in the comments below whether you thought my opinion mattered or whether you thought i was just bumping my gums uh it's put it down in the comments below it would be nice to hear from you all you know i do say this is the community channel because it's for the community so put your put your comments below so i can interact with you guys if you've got friends that you think would be interested in this please share it with them the more this is the merrier because then that means the community is growing so um I'm going to take this time to say thank you for watching the video. Really means a lot. But I'm going to do this like I do every time. And I'm really sorry. But we've got a PayPal and a Patreon link. They're going to be down below. As well as an email for the channel. The channel's Instagram account is going to be down below. So get interactive guys. Let your friends know. Just for you to be aware, the channel's corn army that I'm building is going to be having video logs soon. So I will let you know when that's coming up. There are going to be Blood Bowl reports coming soon because we're going to start the league soon. And then this Wednesday, I will be going over the AOS information that was dropped at the new year open day so already if you read the community site you know it's going to be exciting times but i'm going to go over that again on wednesday thank you again for watching the video thank you for taking the time out and passing this on to your friends thank you for the opinion below and i will see you again so long everybody